How are you doing, my friend? Doing very, very well. How are you doing? Good. We are good. Actually, we got lots to talk about today. Um, let's jump right in with the new Oilers jersey. What were they doing? They were doing like a a reverse color thing or something? Yeah, the reverse retro. The Oilers one's basically just a throwback to the WHA days. So they did the kind of the very first Oilers look. The only thing they didn't really change was the logo. I like. I would have liked them to reverse the logo, have the orange outline. Rather than the blue, you know, blue oil drop made a little different. Hmm. Or it also would have been nice if they just took a swing and did something completely different, switched up the logo and just, you know, if they're going to do a new jersey every year, why not come up with something different? Well, I mean, and, and for this me, is a thing now, hey? I was trying new to figure New jerseys every year? Yeah, well, because they make money off it, right? Yeah, um, got it. Uh, for me, when I saw it, I, I was like, there's something... I don't like it. It's too white. Somebody brought up on Twitter when I sent it out that it, it, it was too white, maybe. I, I don't know. What do you Sell think of it? Tabor. Well, I can't get the white jersey anyway because I'm like I'm one of those guys that'll mustard it up for oh, sure if yeah. I have a white jersey. So like those are on the no fly zone. You go to a game wearing a white jersey, it's not a good. That's not coming back. Not a good move. Yeah. No, it's a magnet for me to spill something on it. So I think it looks good. Could I ever wear one? No, because I'm irresponsible and I get drunk all the time. (laughs) (laughs) Do they use that as a third jersey? It's going to be interesting to see. Well, obviously, we're going to have a truncated season. We don't know how long, how many games there are going to be, but it's going to be interesting to see how often it goes in the rotation. If it was a normal year, I could see them playing it or wearing it about ten times or so, but. Because of Rona, who knows? But that is effectively the third jersey for most of the teams, right? Because they all did yep. that reverse retro thing. Yeah, that's exactly right. I didn't mind some of them. Some of them look pretty cool. Some of them are bad. Some of them uh, did bad, a really yeah. good job. I thought like the LA Kings did a really good job. I love the purple and yellow. Yeah. They're kind of doing like their Lakers play. And it's an old school look from back in the day. It's like Detroit's were terrible. They basically put their current logo on a white blank jersey and called it a day. It was like when you have to hand in an essay the morning of the project and you completely <laughs> forgot about it. The Leafs are bad. Leafs wasn't good. They look like a practice jersey. I didn't mind Boston's. Boston's a little yellow, though, but... Yeah, the Leafs were funny to me because they've got two different sized fonts on their jersey. Yeah, like, what are you doing? It doesn't. It's, it's asymmetrical. Speaking it of me. fonts, did you see what the Ducks did at the on the back of theirs? You know what that reminds me of? The Ducks jersey reminds me of like a kid who's high in class and, <laughs> and he's not paying attention. He doodles. <laughs> we need to talk about this as well. What's your take on the Oilers being sued by that Dallas hotel for a bounce check for a hotel stay last season? So I read about it. They said that it was an accounting error. And to be honest, for $27,000 for an organization or whatever the number was, for an organization like the Oilers, I tend to believe them, I think. I just I can't imagine they don't have the money to pay that bill. So I just feel like there was where the time we're at because of COVID and all that. Maybe there was just a lost in translation type thing on there. I have no idea what to think about it, to be honest. It was very strange to see pop up on Twitter the other day. What was your take on it? Somebody suggested online that I saw maybe it could have been like a situation where the team racked up some hotel bills, like a rookie meal, and then the rookies didn't pay. So oh. I had to go on that. So somebody suggested that online. I'm like, I don't know if that's a thing or not. but Yeah, I have no idea. I honestly have no idea. Because it just doesn't it seem really weird that the Edmonton Oilers yes. wouldn't have money to pay their hotel bill. Yeah, yes. $27,000. Like- so while people are coming up with theories and I get all that, I just feel like the answer to this particular one is probably a lot simpler and maybe dumber than we think. I don't know. I have no idea. It's kind of funny, it's though. Right? Yeah, it is funny. It was just like a random, like, It what? is entertaining that the guy that owns the most expensive house in California is being sued for what would amount to a $30 bill for all of us, right? Is being sued yeah, exactly. by a hotel for... An outstanding bill. Maybe they trashed a hotel room or something. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, yeah, I have no idea. Like, it was a really weird story to have come out this year, and I just I didn't know what to think about it. I was just, I can't imagine that this wasn't, like, some simple mistake. But I, I honestly have no idea. This, your theories are as good as anyone's, really. Yeah, yeah. Grant did a really good fake news about it the other day. But it was a bottle drive at Rogers this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> we need well, to do what we can to pay off their bills, right? <laughs> well, they're not getting any of my empties. That's my retirement fund. I've been putting the work in during COVID. You know, you know what's entertaining about that is that I bet you there's people that are sitting there doing the math, driving in, going, I spent $28,000 on that team in 2017, right? Like, there's guys that sure, dropped yeah. that, that amount of money 
in in, in a suite one night, right? One last unquestionably. Thi- one last thing: Are you willing to get vaccinated to go to a game? See, With all the, the Ticketmaster like, talk, here here's the thing. I don't even download the new iOS when it comes out. I wait for the second version. So in terms of a vaccine that is getting injected into my body, I don't know. Like I'm gonna I might wait and see on this first round. Your body is a temple. It is a temple and I gotta feed it with only the best things, including the no name beer beers that we talked about a little bit. I'm only getting it if it's a Russian vaccine. That's what I've decided. Well, I liked Grant's tweet the other day where it's just like, Well now I can speak Russian. Or yeah. Like, I just tweeted I'm fine in Russian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bag Milk. Thanks for the visit, my friend. Thank you very much, boys.